for the after video of the second Hoover 612 that I have fully restored and put back to as good as brand new condition as we could possibly hope for. Does it work any better than before? What have I changed? Because as you look at this machine, there are completely original parts and there are brand new or refurbished ones. So, let's have a look. Yes, hello, my vacuum cleaner chums. How are you today? Yes, this is a 612 for a very good friend of mine. I've had it far too long, but it's done and it's ready to show you and it's ready to go home. He's not seen this yet. He bought it blind from eBay. <laughs> and obviously I have looked after it and made it hopefully fit enough to last another 60 years, 70 are these 70 or 60? Comment down below, how old is the 612 now? What have we done? Well, if you cast your minds way back to the before video, it had a rubbish handle grip. We found a genuine, because it's got oh, the Hoover written down there. So we, we found one of the eBay, it came, it sat for ages. In fact, the cardboard tube that this came with is what was stuffing the DCO5 motor into the apex blower. Let us unwind the cable. And again, this had an awful flex on it when it arrived. I, I can't quite recall back to the before video, but I think we turned it on, but I didn't use it after that. So we have a new flex. And it's a brown flex. Yes, it's, I found it online. It was fairly reasonable it's a lot thinner than the original flex for this cleaner i had to ask somebody who knew these things if it was safe to use it and it it is it can handle triple what this is drawing but yeah to find brown it's very difficult this came from a lamp place they must have jumped they must have wondered if it was a typo one they ordered 25 meters of it yeah but usually they'd only sell probably two meters three meters yeah, it works quite well, certainly as good as you're going to get, short of putting a nice thicker black flex on it. The plug is the MK. It's got a chunk missing out of it there, which is a pain, but you can't touch anything you shouldn't. And so once it's plugged in, you know, it's very good indeed. So yeah, we have a nice MK plug on there still. Moving down, the bag is, well, it's not original, as you can tell. It's also still got, despite being washed, lots of rust stains. And that bottom bit is barely held on to the bag flange, simply because it is quite perished. I've not put an inner bag in this either. I'm just hoping that this carpet is clean enough. If you're a fan of my channel and you watched it months ago, then we shampooed this. Well, this is the day after, <laughs> literally. So I'm, I'm hoping that we don't have to do anything more to the bag than just a quick vacuum out afterwards before it goes home. Let's have a look at the base, which is the original part of this machine. That, folks, in all of its glossy machine polished glory is the original hammered finish to the machine now again if you watch my channel you'll know that i have repainted vacuum cleaners before hammerite hammered copper not bronze or gold copper is as near as heck a perfect match and i have a 612 in which needs that treatment this didn't obviously you know these little scuffs on the corner that's Patina, that is, you know, this has been used, it's been brushed against the chair leg, it's been knocked into the sofa, it's had all those scars. In fact, you can see on the hood that it's been rammed under stuff, but that is okay. That is, you know, I could have repaint that, 
it wouldn't be good. What I have done though, uh, apart from smash my tripod, is repaint the handle and chipped it already. As you can see, touch that up before it goes back. Yes, the handle has been painted and lacquered in brown, so it looks smart. Because if you remember from the handle, it had that tape up of it. And when we tore it off, it just took all the paint in a big strip. Couldn't have that. It just takes the eye away from it. Oh yeah, I can't look like the handle anymore. Let's turn it over and hope that you can still see. With, yeah, there we go. We have... The underneath, which is lovely, to be honest. Not really many issues with it at all. The brush roll came up incredibly well. The brush strips on this thing are phenomenal. Really, really good. It has an okay belt. Wheels don't squeak. It's just lovely, <laughs> really. There's there's not an awful lot you can really say about these that isn't just they are bulletproof, reliable, and once cleaned up, work really rather well. As hopefully we shall now demonstrate. works really really well indeed it's got that lovely growl it's got the wind down the long slow wind down on the motor i think it's even got some agitation <laughs> that worked really really well so well in fact that as you saw it vibrated my phone on the carpet so much that my phone fell over although we got some good macro shots crikey there's still so much yellow flipping fluff is what i was sort of hoping there wouldn't be yeah but no there we go look despite thoroughly cleaning, curbing, vaxing this carpet, we have lots more fluff. So I shall need to clean out this bag before it goes back. In fact, I've got another after video to do straight after this. So we may as well recycle a lot of this crumbled up now. But this is what rice looks like when it's been through a dirty fan hoover. It just smashes it completely. <sighs> But, there we go, this one is done, ready to go back to its owner and just look lovely and work very well for the rest of its life. So, as always, thank you very much for watching, I hope you've enjoyed and I will see you soon. Bye bye.